You're driving cross country, staying up all night for an exam you've known about for at least two months, or you enjoy heart palpitations. Either way, you need caffeine and you need it now. So which is it? Light roast or dark roast? Which has more zing? A common thought is that dark roast has more caffeine because it appears to be more dense. And if you ask a specialist, they'll say light roast because dark roast loses more caffeine in the roasting process. But neither of these are the full truth. Let science explain. During the roasting process, the caffeine content of the beans barely changes at all. While it seems reasonable that heat would cause caffeine destruction, the roasting temperature would have to exceed 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And most commercial roasters rarely, if at ever at all, get as high as 470 degrees. So let's start from the beginning of how coffee is made to solve this caffeinated question. Coffee beans start off small and green as they head into the roaster. It is good to think of this roasting process as similar to popping popcorn. After about eight minutes in the roaster, the beans will begin to pop, and when they do, they increase in size as they begin to brown as the oils seep out. A second pop occurs about 10 or 12 minutes into the roast which signals that the bean has been fully roasted. However, roasters can remove the beans earlier to achieve a lighter roast or keep them in longer to achieve a darker roast. The difference between light and dark roast is actually, drum roll please, a few seconds. Seriously, a few seconds. But here's where things get really cool. During the roasting process, water is forced out of the bean, which then turn expands the bean, stripping it of water and decreasing the total weight. Therefore, the darker the roast, the bigger the bean, yet smaller the weight. So when brewing a cup of coffee, if scoops are used to measure the beans, then more light roast beans will fit into a scoop. Therefore, a scoop of light roast beans will yield more caffeinated coffee. However, if the beans are being measured by weight, more dark roast beans will be included and therefore the dark roast will have more caffeine. So if you go into Starbucks and order a regular coffee, they've most likely measured with a scoop to make their brewed coffee. So light roast will light you up. But if you go into a hipster coffee shop where they have pour overs and specialty beans which have been weighing on scales, then dark roast will yield a better spark. Besides brewing technique, there's one last factor that could affect caffeine levels, and that's coffee varieties. For example, Robusta coffee beans have almost double the amount of caffeine as Arabica beans. So hypothetically speaking, a light roasted Robusta coffee could have more caffeine than a dark roasted Arabica, even if they were both measured by weight. The bottom line, if measured by weight, dark roast is the champion of caffeine. If measured by volume, like a scooper or a spoon, then light roast has more caffeine. Whew.